Tell us about the organization 100% Life. 100% Life is the largest non-governmental financial fund in Ukraine. What does it look like now and what has our decision made 20 years ago turned into? We have come a difficult way fighting against corruption, the system and everything else, and as a result we are now the largest fund, both financial and human, that serves at least 170,000 people a year with direct services. We became an example for the entire post-Soviet space, for the patient movement, which began to unite and fight for its rights in their countries. Our organization has the highest trust rating among the donor world system in working with patients. We are introducing the most transparent resource management systems, the most accurate program management systems and the most effective approaches to work in the non-governmental sector. As an organization, as a system of communities, we take a position of zero tolerance towards corruption, zero tolerance for disrespect for human rights, and in this case it irritates our opponents. The entire growth path of our organization is imbued with the fight against corruption, for human rights and for access for patient treatment. Thanks to international aid, thanks to all the projects that have been implemented, more than 115,000 people are being treated daily in Ukraine with drugs that save their lives. For 15 years our fund undergoes an international financial audit twice a year to show a real standard for managing the finances of international aid. Today we can teach government agencies how to manage finances honestly, openly and correctly. Who actually initiates the attack on the international aid and the non-governmental work in Ukraine? There are two important directions of our work. One direction is all the corrupt officials who would want the civil sector to disappear from Ukraine, because this is the basis of democracy and transparency. The second, more important direction is the direction of Putin and the Russian Federation, which are doing everything possible to destroy democracy in Ukraine. To do this, they will use any illegal lobbying and any black information campaigns to achieve their result. We are one of those funds that came under attack by agents of the Russian Federation. We understand very precisely the purpose of those attacks. First, to destroy the relationship between Ukraine and the United States. The second is to destroy the access to donor aid that the US provides to Ukraine. Third, destroy all technical assistance for the civilian sector, for the defense sector, for education in Ukraine. To do this, they discredit all international aid in Ukraine. They spread false information, create false news events and falsify criminal cases. And they use their agents to do that. One of these agents is a graduate of the KGB and FSB school, MP Derkach. They use such agents to discredit all international aid to Ukraine. Derkach and his father, they managed the entire system of the security service of Ukraine at the early stage of the formation of our country's independence. He is an absolutely open lobbyist for the Moscow Patriarchate in the world and has never hidden his affection either for Putin or the Russian Federation or their ideology. Therefore, he was chosen as the man with whom they want to destroy the relationship between Ukraine and the United States. He attempts to discredit international aid itself attempts to discredit NGOs that work with this international aid, including our fund. He also brings down individual politicians in Ukraine, creates a negative image for them and he does the same in the US in relation to Ukrainian politicians.
To do this, they use KGB agents, good graduates of the KGB school, one of whom is Derkach, member of parliament of Ukraine. He studied at the main school of the KGB, graduated from the FSB school and is an open lobby for the ideology of Putin in Ukraine and the world. They understand very accurately that international aid helps Ukraine to become stronger, more open, more democratic and to begin developing, and they want to destroy that good relationship. To do this, they discredit the U.S. government in Ukraine and the Ukrainian government in the States. They say in the U.S. that Ukraine has a bad civil sector and a bad democracy, while in Ukraine they talk about the U.S. and American international aid being bad. To achieve this, they create false information events, disseminate this information and falsify criminal cases. They spread those lies on the basis of impunity. They think that there is no justice in relation to those who lie, and specifically to Derkach. Has Mr. Derkach made any false statements about you or 100% life? If so, what were those false statements? Derkach has made several false statements against my organization and myself personally. That has been done not only in Ukraine, but also in the United States. The lie has been spread that international aid received by our fund was disappearing in an unknown direction, which was untrue. This lie is being replicated by all Ukrainian media, which in one way or another belong to the Russian Federation. There is only one purpose in this. They want to reduce confidence in the Ukrainian non-governmental sector. And Mr. Derkach has made fantastic statements in the US that three and a half billion dollars of American government aid to Ukraine were stolen, which is an outright lie. Unfortunately, he can also use American politicians to spread lies. Those who listen to Derkach and support Derkach, sure enough, they support the FSB of the Russian Federation, as well as that lobbying strategy of destroying the relationship between Ukraine and the United States. For the lie that Derkach spreads and for everyone who repeats this lie, we go to the court of Ukraine. For the lies that Derkach spreads in the US about Ukraine, about the international aid of the American government, about the work of the non-governmental sector in Ukraine, we will go to the US court. We clearly understand that in order to protect democracy, it is necessary to close the mouths of those who spread lies. Their lies must be punished in a legal way. Why do you think he chose you and your organization to make these false statements about? What was your reaction when you discover that Mr. Derkach made false statements of Rudy Giuliani's YouTube channel about your organization and yourself? For more than 20 years we have been fighting corruption in Ukraine and we get used to be in a state of resistance against corrupt officials. So for us the annual process when corrupt officials are trying to discredit us is not new and very familiar. When Derkach came out with a statement on the Giuliani channel, we all had a shock that the American territory was starting to be used against anti-corruptionists. We were also shocked that an outspoken representative of the KGB school could be supported by American politicians. The representative of the KGB on the American channel voices and spreads outright lies about what is happening in Ukraine. Why did they choose us? Because we are the largest fund, we support the entire civil sector in Ukraine. And we are an organization that brings together 16,000 members throughout the country. They also choose us for the reason that we financially support funds that are fighting for reforms, funds that are building new systems and those NGO organizations that are changing Ukraine. What prompted Derkach's statements to Giuliani and why do you think they are working together to promote these false statements? 
For us, the motivation of Derkach is generally obvious. He is fulfilling a plan that wasn't developed by him, and he has the task of destroying the relationship between the US and Ukraine. The appearance of politician Giuliani in this story was shocking to us by the fact that the American politician could play along with such a logical behavior. Personally, Giuliani doesn't know me. Personally, I don't know Giuliani either. And it was a revelation for me that Giuliani could personally make claims to me that are actually lies. And I am an activist who fights for the rights of patients in Ukraine, for the rights of people with deadly diseases. And for me, it is not clear why Giuliani personally wants to stop me and my activities. I am an activist who fights for international aid for Ukraine so that Ukraine had a strong, understandable and accurately predictable democracy. Unfortunately, I can state that Giuliani voiced the same untruth spoken by a graduate of the KGB school, Derkach. And in this case, their interests coincide. In the court of Ukraine, we will defend the truth so that Derkach's word would be refuted, so that we would receive an exhaustive apology and this lie would forever disappear from the territory of Ukraine. Ukraine. You filed a lawsuit against Mr. Derkach in Kyiv. Can you please explain what were the accusations you made against him in that suit? Are you also considering any legal action against Rudy Giuliani? Would that also be for defamation and business interference? We want lies to be refuted both in Ukraine and in the US and around the world. In this case, we want to go to the Court of America so that the lie voiced by Giuliani would have its legal assessment. I want to defend the rights of all patients of the entire civil sector in the American court, so that the lies that were voiced about me personally and about Ukrainian organizations would get refuted and they would receive an exhaustive apology, so that all the international aid that our foundation receives could keep turning into life, into pills, into services, into assistance, into a change in the health system of Ukraine. All people who work to implement these programs deserve respect instead of false statements. Please explain how their catch false statements are intended to harm Joe Biden. Derkach deliberately destroys Ukraine's relations with the U.S., accusing presidential candidate Joe Biden, blaming our organizations and all international aid for Ukraine. Unfortunately, his lies are used in the presidential election campaigns in the United States. Derkach and the FSB understand that if Biden becomes president, he will strongly support Ukraine, then Ukraine will become way stronger. Therefore, they deliberately harm these relationships. Many people and officials in Ukraine have called for criminal investigations into the actions of Mr. Derkach. Can you explain whether such an investigation is underway, and if not, why not, and what could be done to stimulate such an investigation? We appealed to all state structures, to the Office of the President, to the Cabinet of Ministers, to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and to the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Ukraine, with a statement that lies has been spread at the international level about Ukraine, about international aid and about Ukrainian policy. Unfortunately, at the moment there is not a single official reaction to our appeal. Thus, we decided to defend the honor of Ukraine in the Ukrainian court ourselves. We would also like to defend the honor of Ukraine in U.S. court. Last week, the American Director of National Intelligence specifically warned the U.S. Congress that Mr. Derkach was disseminating false information as part of a Russian operation about Joe Biden in order to help Donald Trump. What was your reaction to such high-level expose of Mr. Derkach as a de facto Russian operative? 
For six months in a row, we inform all partners, all government agencies that their catch is part of a plan to discredit Ukraine in relations with the United States. We are glad that the American Special Services found evidence of Derkach's relationship with the FSB of Russia and his plan became open and understandable. And we are upset by the slowness of our security forces on the evidence provided by the American media. For the Ukrainian law enforcement agencies, one statement by Derkach was enough to open a criminal case against us. And not a single power structure of Ukraine has done anything after the statement of the American media. I would prefer to be wrong about our power structures being at one with Derkach. Shortly after that warning, President Zelensky made a statement condemning attempts by anyone in Ukraine to interfere with the U.S. election. Are you aware, therefore, of any investigations of Mr. Derkach or plans to charge him with any criminal offenses? For eight months, Derkach completely brazenly and openly interfered in the elections in America, the elections in Ukraine and relations between the US and Ukraine. Personally, we want to stop this man in court. But the civil sector should not always play the role of the state. The state itself must stop the lies that Derkach spreads about Ukraine and the United States. News reports indicate that Mr. Derkach has sent packets of information to Senator Ron Johnson and Congressman Devon Nunes, denigrating Joe Biden. What would you advise them to do with that information? Do you believe it has any credibility? We are ready to tell the truth at any site where we will be given this opportunity to protect the civilian sector, to protect the dignity of those people who selflessly work today in difficult conditions in Ukraine. Anyone who receives letters or other information from the FSB or from their agents will have to know for sure all this information is a lie that has very bad goals. The FSB system is all built of lies and has a very simple goal to protect Putin and Putin's interests. Are you willing to testify before the US Congress about Mr. Derkach? We are ready to speak at the Capitol, the White House, the Prosecutor's Office and the U.S. Court to prove the truth. As we have already discussed and as news reports indicate, Mr. Derkach's false statements about Joe Biden are part of a Russian operation. What do you suggest should be done prior to the U.S. election to counter or neutralize these false statements? He should be convicted in the U.S. and should get a legitimate assessment of the lies that he spread about the United States, about elections in the U.S., about politicians in the U.S., and also in Ukraine. We want democracy to win and relations between Ukraine and the U.S. as a result of this incident to become even stronger, because the truth is our common value. The United States needs to shut down all Russian media in the US and send all Russian agents out of America once and for all.